Hi friends, I hope you're all having an amazing day. And today we're going to propagate a philodendron silver sword together, otherwise known as philodendron hastatin. The first step is to locate a node. And nodes look like little swelling on the stem. They also can have brown dots, which are areas where the plant can grow arrow roots. It's also a place where the plant can grow new leaves out. And this example here has two nodes, one at the top and one at the bottom. I can either cut uh, two and a half centimeters underneath the top node or an inch underneath the top node or cut it underneath the second node. Now the top node doesn't have a mature leaf, so it means that the propagation is unlikely to be successful. And that's why I chose to cut from the bottom node. And this makes sure, this ensures that the cutting has at least one mature leaf. And just to use clean clippers, cut two and a half centimeters or one inch underneath the node. Once that's done, just dab the ends with a paper towel just to get rid of any excess sap that may come out of the plant. Then pop the cutting into water. If there's too many leaves on the cutting, then I would cut the excess leaf because if the cutting has too many leaves, what will happen is the cutting will actually uh, prioritize and try and maintain the leaves rather than growing roots. And I prefer the cutting to grow roots because that means that the propagation will be faster. With the water I'm using, the water is normal Melbourne tap water. And I just replace the water once a week just to ensure that there is enough oxygen in the water so the cutting can grow roots. And I pop it, the cutting or the propagation in the area that receives a lot of bright indirect sunlight and it's warm as well. After two months, you see roots growing. And this one here is an example of some propagations I did two months ago. And the roots are at least two and a, well, it's at least two inches long, otherwise five centimeters long. And some of them are actually a lot longer than that. And some of the roots have actually grown secondary roots, which are fantastic because it means that propagation is successful. Once that's done and the roots are long enough, you want to transfer it into soil. The soil mixture I'm using is consists of 60% premium potting mix and 40% perline. I like a well draining soil that maintains moisture. Instead of the perline, you can change it for sphagnum moss or you can change it for vermiculite or you can change it to pumice or you can change it to coco peat. Actually, don't use the sphagnum moss. I made a mistake, just, um, just other options of vermiculite and pumice or coco peat, but not the sphagnum moss because that's more for using for propagation and not when transferring into soil. Once that's, that's done there, you want to backfill the pot, making sure tapping down the saw so that the cutting is securely in the saw and to get rid of any air pockets. Then I just use it normal tap water to water the plant, making sure the soil is moist but not soggy. I pop this, uh, these propagations now into an area that receives a lot of bright indirect sunlight and warm as well. I just make sure that the soil is moist for a couple weeks, but never soggy. After a couple weeks, I go back to the normal philodendron routine of making, this, making sure the soil is completely dry before I thoroughly water it again. After about a month, you should be able to tell if the cutting is rooting properly in the soil by gently tagging onto the plant. And if it's securely in the soil, then you know that the plant propagation is successful. So that's how to propagate a philodendron silver sword. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so more planty content can be created. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a fantastic day. Catch you next time. Bye.